What's up everyone? I just got this new World Travel Adapter by uh, Benwo, B-E-N-U-O, and uh, I'm just gonna unbox it, and check it out, see all the features and stuff, what comes in the packaging, and uh, yeah. So, on the box it says two USBs are on the actual thing, the actual device, the uh, World Travel Adapter. Um, it comes with uh, a du two fuses just in case a fuse blows when you're in a different country and uh, you still want to charge your devices you can use your backup fuse that's pretty neat for people who don't know what a fuse is it's basically like a uh, it's a thin piece of wire pretty much and uh, your power goes up one end and it goes to the other goes to the top of the fuse and it comes back down like a car fuse and uh, positive input and negative in output I believe and uh, sometimes when the charge gets too much or the power becomes too much the fuse the little thin wire inside pops or breaks and uh, that protects your uh, circuitry and all your electronics but your fuse is gone, so you have to replace your fuse. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they have two fuses in this thing. Uh, I can charge three d other devices. It also has 8 amp rapid charging, pretty cool, and Type-C for your uh, charging your USB Type-C devices, such as uh, an iPhone or Pixel or something like that. Not an iPhone, but a Pixel or something like that. Suitable for more than 150 different countries. Pretty neat. It's got the black version. Here's some specs. Um, each USB gets 2.4 amp max. Uh, input voltage 100 to 250 uh, volts. Alternating current at 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, so replaceable plugs: USA, UK, European Union, Australia, Japan, China, etc. Uh, suitable for devices with two to and three pole plugs. Um, 110 to 880 watt, or 250 250 volt to 2000 watt, and a max load of eight amps. So you don't want to push more than eight amps. Either. Plug in this is how it is. It's pretty cool. Fits in the palm of my hand. Um, has all the ports that I need right here for different countries and uh, this little slider device I oh. basically you push it down push it downwards and then slide it push it down and then slide so it tells you right here this is a UK this is the UK Then uh, this sliding deal is for U.S., Japan, Austria, uh, Australia. Then you have this thing. Ooh, pops out like that. Uh, Europe. Pretty neat. And you have something right here. What is this? Uh, I guess that's part of the Europe plug. Uh, okay, that's part of the UK. So you push this up and uh, it goes up. It's pretty neat. So you have Europe, Australia, US, Japan, UK, and you have your two extra spare fuses. One is the fuse, it says right there, and one's a spare fuse. So. Uh, let's leave it in there. Anyways, uh, so yeah, then pretty cool. Now here are your smart USBs. Uh, you have 4.5 amps total. Uh, each USB is at 5 volt, 2.4 amp max. Type C is at 3 amp. 
Uh, so more power, more juice from this guy than these, one of these. So this one you can charge your iPad or tablet, perfectly fine iPhone really quickly and perfectly fine too. So you got a power indicator for your light. And you got, this is where you plug in your um, iPhone or whatever you want to plug in here, you know, camera charger or something like that. Pretty neat. So it has a bunch of thing, things that you actually need. It has uh, USBs, necessary, plug, plug your laptop in or something. And it has the input where you would plug in your device into different countries out output. So pretty cool. Comes with a uh, instructions manual. Well travel adapter suitable for more than 150 uh, countries. Oh, it's like a poster. So it tells you everything what everything is and some recommendations, you know, right here, what to charge. Uh, this product is suitable for electronics. Electronic devices up to 2,000 watts at 250 volts. And 800, 880 watts at 110. So, pretty neat. It tells you how to use the adapter. Um, slightly press down the button and slide it. For USA, Australia, same thing for Europe, uh, UK, Australia, New Zealand. Then how to replace your fuse, really important. So you take the original fuse out if it blows, and then you take out the second one, the spare, and put the second one in the original position of the first one that was in there. Pretty cool that it has it. So yeah. I'm going to try to open this up and show you all guys. So I got a toothpick and I gently pried the uh, this little cover open. And here's the original fuse. So these fuses are like the small Christmas light fuse. And uh, basically power goes in through one of the silver caps and goes exits out the other and in between this little thin wire and uh, when your voltage increases too much then that wire breaks and sit in the middle and so you replace it with your spare pretty easy to do you just pop open the uh, spare right here pop open the original take the original out pop in the spare in place of the original and put back the original back into the spare position and press them back in and there you go spare f fuse is being used now so pretty cool um, I think this thing is really convenient it'll fit in my backpack or in my hand handbag whenever I travel and stuff so pretty cool um, definitely would get another for my uh, family. One other thing that I uh, didn't mention was uh, when you slide this one up for US Japan you see that little two arrow thing right there and there so what you can do this is in US so you can actually rotate this prong like that for Australia or Japan and it becomes cross that or you can put it back like that normally and then retract it Pretty cool. Um, has different features. Pops up. This little piece pops up. This middle one pops up too. I think it's pretty handy, and I'll probably be using this anywhere I go travel. Go to Japan, Europe. This would definitely be handy. Or some other Asian countries, so. European countries. So. Pretty neat. Thanks for watching, and if it helped, uh, subscribe. See you all in the next video.